the number five and under bar use the number two die for the moving roller. If it's six or seven bar, use the number one die. That's the smallest die for the moving roller. Measure the length of the bar. Make sure it's at least more than 36 inches or three feet in order to do a full circle. Take the football shaped circular roller die and put it on the middle roller. Make sure it locks into place. Should be at about a 45 degree angle. And then uh, go ahead and put the bolt in there and tighten it down. Take your bar, put it in between the two rollers and the stopper bolt. Make sure it's uh, securely tightened. We're going to be feeding it from the right to the left. Set the bending angle at 90 degrees. This will give us the smallest possible circle with the smallest radius. Next, we're going to take the bar and move it out just beyond the circular area of the bending table by about an inch. And you should use a marker here to mark that. It's about an inch out. And that's where we're going to go ahead and start our bending. Now I'm just going to do my first bend here. Using the foot pedal, hold the foot pedal down until the uh, goes a full 90 degrees and the uh, roller comes back to the start position. I'm going to go ahead and mark the bar here at uh, one end of the stopper bolt and we're going to move that mark to the other end of the stopper bolt which is about three inches and that's the distance we're going to use to do each uh, consecutive bend here. So as you can see another bend 90 degrees let it come back now that I have the uh, approximate distance I'm going to use between each bend, just go ahead and keep uh, using that three inches or so. Another bend. I'm going to go ahead and use my hand to secure the bar as I'm bending it. And should be about two more bends here. And there's a circular pattern with a uh, six bar. Now this is a circular pattern with the number two die on the moving roller. As you can see, I'm using smaller three bar here. Now you could actually stack these up on top of each other, the uh, three bars, and do several uh, circular patterns at the same time. Now with the bending angle set at 90 degrees on the bender, this will give you the smallest possible radius on your circle here. And this circle is about 10, or 10 inches. That's with the 90 degree bending angle. Now in order to do larger circles, you'll have to decrease the bending angle as you can see here, we'll decrease it down to about 45 degrees and use the uh, three bar again and you'll see we're only doing 45 degree bends. But this is going to get you a larger circle here. Now we'll take the two circles and compare them here. Uh, one circle is around 15 inches while the other is at 10 inches. So in order to do larger circles, you have to play with the angle of the uh, bend on the bender in order to get larger circumference uh, circles.